Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to do a mature aged um, makeup look. Um, thanks to my mum for volunteering to do this. Um, so to start off with, I'm going to be priming the face. And I am using the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm to do that. Next, I'm going in with the Nutramedics Line, line Prime um, just to fill in some of the fine lines uh, around under the eyes, uh, forehead area, and just the like um, around the nose. Next for foundation, I'm using the Designer Brands uh, Revive Foundation. Um, this foundation was a little dark than her actual skin tone, but we just blended it down the neck. Um, but that just shows how bad lighting is at um, makeup stores. Like you can do a test, like we did a test in store and it was perfect match and came home in proper lighting and it was nowhere near. So just keep that in mind. But we made it work anyways, we blended it out really well. So I do use the brush to start off with to put the foundation all over the face and buff it into the skin. And then I go over the top with a damp beauty blender sponge and just pat out to make sure there's no excess products which can sink into the lines and enhance the lines. Then I'm going on with this um, dark circle concealer type thing. Um, my mum doesn't have a lot of dark circles under her eyes, so it was more for brightening and making sure it was nice and bright under there. Then I'm going to set the face with the um, Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. Just with a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to set the face. Now I did use as many of my mum's products as possible um, just so she can recreate this look um, at a later date if she wanted to. So next I'm going in with this contour shade in the Napoleon Purda set and just going to start contouring a little bit, uh, not like super dramatic, just um, enhancing. So just uh, cheekbones around the forehead and um, jawline and around, um, around the jawline and the nose. Then I'm going to take the blush shade and just pop that on the cheeks. And then I'm going to take the matte highlight shade and just press that underneath the eyes and yeah, sort of outwards um, I don't want any sh real much like I don't want to put too much sim shimmer on the face so if I can avoid that I can um, next I'm going to end with the brows now as you can see the brows are a little um, been threaded a little uneven so I did have a bit of trouble um, filling them in but it's okay we made it work <laughs> As you can see, they aren't even, I apologise for that, but I had to work with what I had, so. And once the whole makeup looks done, then it does look a bit better. So I'm um, starting off with this white shade out of this palette, and I'm just popping that all over the um, like whole eyelid as a base. Now this does have a bit of, sh like this palette itself is a bit shimmery, so. Um, yeah. Then I'm going in with the fourth shade. I'm going to start buffing that into the crease. And like sort of on the outer, outer V of the eye. Then I'm going in with this Rimmel London palette, or quads um, palette, yeah, quad. <laughs> and going in with the black shade. And taking that on a flat brush and I'm just pressing that into the lash line just to thicken the lash, like make the lashes look a bit thicker 
and um, add a little bit of smokiness to the top lashes. Then I'm going to put some uh, mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Apologies for the lighting, it's because we're using natural lighting. And then to finish the look we're going with um, lips and I'm using this Provoca Lips one and I'm using a brush to apply it just so it's not as intense and then I do use the gloss um, over the top as well. So that guys concludes this look. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.